Good morning, everyone. Um, what I wanted to do this morning was to show you what my typical routine is as I'm looking for things to purchase using on online arbitrage every morning. So first thing I do when I wake up is I go to a series of five websites. And you'll see them up here, Keepa, uh, Camel, 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 Ben's Bargains, The Tractor, and I always like to look at Amazon.com Movers and Shakers. So you may be wondering what in the world are you looking for and why are you hopping on in the morning and doing this. Here I'll walk you through just a real quick quick brief overview of what I'm looking for. First thing I do on Keepa is I go to explore and daily drops. So what Keepa does is it tracks when prices drop on Amazon. and This gives me a good sign if something's worth purchasing at a low price before selling at a high price. So what I do is I always look here and I see that I have selected by Amazon today. Since I check every day, this is great because I can just hop on there and see. And then what I do is I scroll down through. Um, since I use a Mac, um, if I hit Command and click, it pulls up a new tab. So what I'm looking for are typically prices that have dropped a percentage that is greater than about 50 and uh, some of these I have already looked at because I was on my computer last night but some of them are brand new so this one is a pretty low drop but at the same time um, it's an 88 percent drop so I always look at the relative price drop not the absolute price drop which would be a total of like seven dollars so what I like to do is just look and if there's anything that catches my eye I open it up in a new tab um, some things like clothing I'm technically not approved in so there's no reason for me to look at something like that unless I wanted it uh, whoever I don't know if I need a meat cleaver but we're gonna look anyway and the cool part is, is I have no idea what I'm going to find um, it could be something that's fantastic or I could just be looking around and not finding anything so I've got down into the 46 percent nothing that I'm interested in sometimes I will go farther if the prices were higher but I typically have a pretty rigid amount of stuff that I buy, so I'm always looking for the highest return or the highest relative price drop. So the one thing I do is I look at the Keepa charts before I ever go to the page. And there's a few things I'm looking at. Number one, does the, is the, does the price really drop or is it just Amazon's way of trying to get more sales? Because in the world of economics, every time you have a price drop, obviously your sales are going to increase it's all supply and demand so if we look at the price history of this stretch book covers you'll notice that starting in August they were about $1.86 and they just kept progressing down progressing down then they popped up but then the kind of sign from Amazon that they're having trouble selling it and we can look at camel 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 later on off of this one as well um, is the fact that they've bounced it up, but then they start bringing it back down once again. So you'll see the bounce up here. It drops a little bit, and now it's tanked. Um, when I first started buying online, I thought, oh, fantastic, it dropped to 91 cents from $8. After working with it a little bit more, what you'll notice is that Amazon, obviously, and we can check with sales rank, um, was not selling this product very well at $9.18. They may have been selling just fine, but it may not have been very well. So they tried to knock it down to $7.68. Then their next step was to drop it down to 91 So if we wanted to look at the item, we could pop over to Amazon.com and see that it's free with Prime membership. You see the other prices that look pretty high where they were at before Amazon dropped. Then we go down here, and the sales rank is 200000 in office products. I'm typically a hundred and fifty thousand or less kind of guy. It really depends on your business model, but that is just one thing to look at there. This would be nothing I would want to go through. Um, what you could do, but it doesn't seem like it's pulling up any recently viewed or purchased with items, you can kind of go down your rabbit holes and see if there's anything additional to look at, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and move on. So this one is an interesting one. Um, because we see a bunch of little dips. So let's go to a month view here. Um, Keepa is a really awesome tracking software because it not only tracks the price, but it also tracks when Amazon has something in and out of stock. So 
you'll see that Amazon keeps a pretty steady, or the new sellers keep a pretty steady price of about $14.90 until these little drops. If you hover over one of these little drops, you'll see that Amazon comes in stock at $3.06. Then it pops back up when they go out of stock. Then they go into stock. Then they pop out of stock. Then they go in. So you'll see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, about 16 times in the last month that Amazon has gone out of stock of this product. So currently it's at 306. So we're just going to go over to Amazon.com and take a look at it. And you'll see it's 306. You can subscribe and save to 291. Always be aware of subscribe and saves. If it is at 291, um, typically a subscribe and save says that they have a lot coming. Um, won't guarantee that, but it typically means Amazon has ordered a crap ton and is willing to let you subscribe to keep the supply going. You'll see the people who are selling this. We got a $14.90 plus $7.99 shipping. Uh, we got $24 as the nearest Prime offer or FBA offer. So we scroll down a little further here. And what we're going to see is we want to look at sales rank. Sales rank's in 932. So, so far, so good. So I'm going to hit my camel, camel, cam camel button here. And then I'm going to hit view product info. If you are wondering where in the world I get all these extensions and random things in my news or my Amazon thing, these are all extensions through the Chrome browser. So if you have Chrome, you can put that in there. So what we want to look at is sales rank on Camel Camel Camel. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the month view and we're going to see what happens when we see Amazon's out of stock. So we're going to kind of bounce back and forth between this here. So you'll see that Amazon was out of stock between September 1st. Let's go to the month view here. They were out of stock around the 11th. They're in stock around the 11th and there as well. So you're going to see that around the 11th, the sales rank had dropped down. So people had stopped buying this as much as they were when it was cheaper. Of course, supply and demand. Um, so this graph, you'll see every time it bounces back up, that's when Amazon gets it in stock. So it bounces back up again, bounces back up. And it's an interesting graph because you do notice the decline in sales rank. But at the same time, you do see it never gets below 100,000. So in the world of health and beauty, um, I think this would be a decent find. It wouldn't be the best kind of online arbitrage thing you can find. But for waking up this morning and being able to make, let's see here. So we're at 306 purchase price. I'm going to use my FBA calculator. And it's going to pull this up here real quick. And I'm going to put in a price of $24. So that's about what that math was for the other one. And I'm going to calculate, and if this were to sell, um, plus I have to add in my shipping, I would make approximately $12 a unit. So to invest three and to make 12 as a 400% return would be a pretty good start to the day. This is one that I personally probably wouldn't buy. Um, just because I am currently, since it's Q4, investing a lot in toys and other of my replenishables that I'm doing. But this is probably one I'll share on the FBA Master website as a bolo for people who are online, ready to go, and they can grab it. So look for that on there because it'll probably be there later. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And we're going to go ahead and move on. So the next Keepa one I have is these boxes. You see a very nice drop here. If you look, obviously this has been high, and all of a sudden it's dropped. This is a very good sign of a chart. The last time it was this low was in February of 2013. So we just need to take a look real quick. And I know this may get tedious and boring for some people, but I just want to show you that you can make money just like waking up and hopping on here, especially if you do your research and understand the graphs and the numbers behind it. So you see this is a 2 million sales rank. We're going to pass on that one. Don't really have an interest there. Um, you also look here. You see a price drop, price jump, price drop. Something I am not interested in. Seems to me this isn't probably selling up there very high. And it's they're dropping there to try to get a sale. Once they get a sale, they pop it back up. 
So we're going to pass on that one. And if you want more information about Keepa, more videos will be coming in the next few months about really using it to kind of mine for product ideas and to kind of find and to also use it for price tracking. So that'll be a whole nother video. This is just kind of quickly going through the websites that I visit. So on Camel Camel Camel, also a price tracking tool, the one thing I like to do is look at po popular products and Amazon price drops. So I just do a quick search through the popular products and my goal is to find something where the green number is a lot lower than the average price number. And I just kind of scroll through here and look, and I have seen a lot of these in the past. So if I'm looking like I'm just going very fast, it's because when you do this a lot, you kind of start figuring a few things out. So I'm not seeing anything that's a huge price difference. So then I'm going to go up here to top price drops, and I'm going to hit it. Um, I'm going to look at the last day, and I want the biggest relative price drop, because that is very important, because the relative means your percentage return. If a, if a thousand dollar product drops a hundred dollars, that may be a large absolute number, but when you look at it, it's only 10% drop. So we're looking for that percentage drop, because it makes a lot bigger difference when it comes to the, your margins when you're selling. So I'm going to click update list and scroll down through here. I'm looking for numbers that are pretty big, um, like 70 is a good one. I usually go up to about 50 some percent. But also what I want to do is I want to have a number in the green that's pretty big. Because right now if I buy for $1.87 and it was at $6.27, I'm not going to make a lot. This one on the other hand, it says it was at about 99 Is that no, 29 now? So I'm going to right click and open a new tab. We're going to continue to scroll through a little bit here. And I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that catches my eye. And this morning, not really. So we're going to go here to Camel, Camel, Camel. And we're going to look at what is going on here. So this looks like it's only been tracking it for the last few days. So my guess is there's a little bit of sales rank information, but not a ton. Um, so you'll notice at this price, they were doing decent, but it looks like we're pulling in more info on the sales rank side. So let's go ahead and pull up this on Amazon. So it's an external battery pack. You see that we have Amazon selling it at 290. Amazon is temporarily out of stock. That's usually a good sign. Um, this person, they just may be a good seller. We don't know. Um, but Amazon was just in stock at $99. Drop down to $29.99 either to match this or because they thought it was a better selling point. And they are temporarily out of stock. So we're going to go back. And a few things that I like to do to make sure this isn't a crazy find. I like to check other color variations. And it seems to me that Amazon has this in other variations as well. Cell phone accessories I tend to stay away from. But this may be something that you are comfortable with. So this may be a good find for you. Um, white, looks like all color variations today are at $29.99, Amazon's out of stock, and the Zilu Tech is in stock on here. So we've got a out of stock in the black, looks like they've been selling pretty well up there, but I don't have a sales rank. It's one reason I stay away from cell phone and accessories, but this may be a great find for someone. Um, so I go through Camel 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 like that to find things. Ben's Bargains is something that where they kind of have a community built to share deals. And this is one that I stumbled across recently um, from a recommendation. And I've been using it, found some good deals, but you really have to know what you're looking for. So what I'm looking for is the newest deals, because the hottest ones mean people have already been finding them. I want something before it's hot. Um, so I'm just going to scroll down through, and I'm looking for a lot of them if the number that's orange is way bigger than the number that is in blue with the Amazon link by it or the retail number. I just like to kind of scan through and see what I find. So I could be a toolkit combo. That's not a very good one. You see that it's a little bit of a drop but nothing much. This one looks pretty good. It's probably about a 45 percent drop here. It really depends if you wanted to go a step further and look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up as the next step. 
um, we just kind of scroll down through and you could spend as much time as you wanted on this kind of stuff. Um, New Egg seems to have this one in stock. Looks like it's about a 40 some percent price drop. Um, you'll notice I do a lot of this in my head. Um, New Egg has these, so it's a 50 percent price drop. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Amazon page of them. And you just go down through and look at these. I do this every morning, so then I get to a certain point. I had actually purchased orange versions of these in a previous time. And I've bought them for three eighty-four and sold them for twenty-five dollars. So there is a little bit of money to be made in Powerade. They're very heavy to ship, though, so please take that in consideration. So here's a memory card. Let's take a look at it. That would actually be the reverse. So just ignore that I clicked that because you'd want this one to be smaller than this one. So then we just move along. We're gonna go ahead and close out. See, this is thirty-nine ninety-nine. Remember, we could get it for like twenty. It's 12,000 in baby, so let's see what would happen if we bought it. Eh, make four bucks. You could make money that way. I'm going to pass on it. Um, these guys are selling for 169 at don't see a sales rank. Camel, camel, camel isn't popping up, so we're just going to ignore that. This may be perfect for you guys. Not Nothing I'm interested in. We said I messed up on that one, so we just go about our business. And then the last one I go to is the tractor, and I go into Movers, and I click Percentage Change, Amazon New, and hit Go. It's going to organize these based upon the price difference. So I'm going to click, well, obviously I want that one to look at that. I meant to just click a new tab. Um, we're going to click this one. Looks like my price drop is pretty good. And it was at a good price point. Pencil sharpeners, those always seem like fun. And we just kind of scroll down here. Princess dress up trunk. I've been monitoring that one. Amazon seems to get it in stock, and this is a sign that they do. Um, we're doing, that's going to be good for right now. So we're just going to hop over to this one, and you'll see that I've missed the deal. Um, Amazon did have a price drop that Keepa did not catch. Um, my tractor plug-in is not installed on this computer. This is a, my kind of processing computer, not the other one. So this would be one that looks like it's pretty good sales rank. We had tractor catch a drop to $25 new, and we could set a price track to see if it drops again. Um, this is also one where kind of searching past the initial item is a good idea. because You can hop down into this stuff and see what just kind of doesn't make sense with the purchase or other low prices that you're catching. And so that could be someone else that is doing online sourcing, just like you. And you can kind of use that to get new ideas or find new products. So, like, I don't typically buy a mobile thing with... Kleenex hand towels. just doesn't usually happen like that. So green tea, we may want to look at those. And you can see how this kind of just builds upon itself and builds upon itself. And you kind of go down that hole that is something that you didn't originally look at, but you kind of end up finding along the way. I don't see anything that's a great deal here, so we're going to move on. Um, I always love when I get the notifications up here about, hey, you can buy this. Um, this is a six-pack, however, so you do want to keep that in mind. I don't see a huge price jump here, so we're going to move on. Storage bench looks like it bounced. It's probably no longer at the price point we're looking at. Now, let's see if Keepa picked it up. Keepa did. It dropped down to $27. Probably would be a very good find. This would be one I would automatically go track my product. I want it to be under $30 or less. And I'm going to put my email address in. And I'm going to hit start tracking. And it's going to send me an email notification if this drops once again. So you see a pretty clear price drop there. We just want to take a look real quick. It's at $9. Let's see what other people are selling it for. $9 new looks like this is the only new offer on it so if you were to buy out the stock of this you could control the new price and if we look at the sales rank history or the price history you'll see that a lot of it was up at 29s ish 
and the sales rank is 528. So we could look at camel, camel, camel real quick. See what happens to sales rank as price varies. Uh, we're going to assume that it got better. You'll see even at the higher price, uh, 30 some dollars, we were still under 32,000 in office. This will be one that I would even be jumping on, and you may not see this product later on once I'm done purchasing. So that's just something that you may want to look at. I will probably share this on FBAMaster.com too since it's part of this video. Um, and you'll see that I now have this one that I'm going to go ahead and pull this in and understand that I'm estimating what I would sell it at. I may sell it at $30 a piece FBA. So you're looking at buying it at night, about 120% return on your money. So I do that. And the princess dress up trunk, I probably have an email notification about this. Um, what I'm looking for is anytime it drops down to $29.99, this is it. Uh, it's a perfect drop. You'll notice that what I'm looking at here is, this is a great example. I can't believe this actually popped up like this. If we look at camel, 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 you'll notice that the sales rank doesn't vary a whole lot here. And what we're doing is simply looking at this and you can buy it this way, sell it at this price later on. So it's just another good find. Um, and then movers and shakers, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to look at, I kind of go through each category and I'll open this up and see why it bumped up. And I'm kind of guessing a lot of the times on why it bumped up, but I'm also looking to see if there was a drop in price, if the Keepa chart was looking at it, or if it just was a popular product. Um, I'll also see if I can purchase it at a different price. So I typically do toys, beauty, baby. Um, you can see this could take a good amount of time. Um, I do it when I have extra time in the mornings. But that is kind of how I do some online arbitrage. So what you're looking for is something that has dropped in price. Where you can buy at a lower price, sell at a higher price, has a good return. Um, always check your weight and size requirements. You don't really want to buy a lot of oversized unless you can, it, you can cover it with your margins. And then you want to make sure that you have the funds to buy what you can. And always, if you get the opportunity to buy out the stock of an item and control the supply, it's always really good to do that because then you control how many are available at any given time unless someone finds them from an outside source.